wheels popped up back there too. Oh sh! <laughs> we're going getting wheels back there, bro. Boys, so what's on the to-do list today? First up, exotic kill. So what's next on the list? Convert import guy. Convert import guy. Yep. I think I know just the person for that. Yep. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> dude, nothing but traction. Oh my god. It just goes, dude. It does just go. <laughs> That's nothing like the Lexus or anything else. That's, oh. that's so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it just wants to take off. <laughs> I think it's time. I think it's time you get to feel some of this coyote power. Just so happens, the next thing on the list says, let the crew rip it. Time to take for a rip, boys. Can't Let's argue with that. Let's get it, baby. Under your heart. Do it. caught me so off guard dude wow. the back end was out and you were dancing i blacked yeah. out bro yeah. blacked out. <laughs> she's a dancing she's girl a bro dancing girl. oh that's sick what's up guys i'd like to officially introduce our next big project the tier c work truck it's a coyote powered 2020 four wheel drive f-150 and it's packing some go fast goodies under the hood but before we get into that i just want to give a big thank you from our entire team to everyone that participated in our all-wheel drive rsx giveaway we accomplished so much with that build the community support was amazing and we're so grateful for the awesome journey but now it's time for a new journey so this is going to be one of the few domestic projects that trc has ever done we're super excited to jump into the coyote platform we're planning to make this truck even more wild by partnering with some of the best companies in the game but we're gonna save the big plans for a future episode for now let's give you guys a proper walk around of the new build all right guys so let's fire her up built ford tough pretty basic interior work truck style got the old trusty nitrous bottle in here you know in case we roll up on some bikes or something but yeah pretty basic interior for the most part Sounds pretty badass. Don't mind that uh, that gas mileage right there, boys. All right, so let's give you guys a walk around. It's on some weld wheels with some Toyo tires. Thing looks so good. It's got a Viking Viking uh, suspension on it all around. Man, we are so, so freaking stoked for this thing. And one of my favorite parts, four by four, baby. Oh, can't forget. You know, we had a we had a Honda left over from the RSX project, so we're just, we're tuning this puppy on Honda for now. It's got a custom exhaust with a dump here. Oh yeah, that Whipple, baby. Loving this thing so far, man. So it's a stock motor Coyote. It's got the oil pump gears. We got a 3.0 Whipple, 3.375 uh, pulley, four fuel system, makes like 8.30 at the tire, so she's rowdy, boys. She is rowdy, but I will say, we're not done just yet. This thing's gonna make quite a bit more power, but we'll save those plans for for another episode. Romeo. Yes, sir. Ready to go make some hits in this thing? I'm excited. So Wait. you haven't driven this thing yet. Nope. And uh, what do you say, you wanna launch it? I'm ready, man, let's do it. <laughs> I'm excited. My boy stays ready, hell yeah. So we gotta put her in. 4H, there we go. Shift in, four by four shift in progress. And then we gotta hold this guy, turn traction control all the way off, advance track off, right? And then you're gonna smash the brake as hard as you can and just get it up on the converter slightly and then just mat it. All right, <laughs> let's do it. I think your uh, your camera gear might have uh, got sent to outer space in the back there, bro. Let's see, what was the zero to sixty, dude? Three seconds on that one. Three seconds on that one, and it spun a little bit. Yeah, dude, this thing rides. This thing is crazy. I uh, oh, we just I, did a quarter mile there. Forty-five second quarter mile. Forty-five seconds. I can feel the blood rushing to the back of my head right now. It feels insane. Four wheel drive, baby. Oh yeah. Four wheel drive. Dude, so my absolute favorite thing so far that's happened with the truck is our drive back, <laughs> picking picking up this truck. 
this Lambo, this Miami bro, him and his boy roll up on this on the highway, roll up on us, revving at us in this bright orange Lambo. And we had eight wheels and tires in the back. And bro, they, they had no idea. They probably weren't expecting they for had, uh, dude, F-150 to gap them the way we did. <laughs> no idea. I honestly had no idea, bro. Remember, dude, we hadn't even floored the truck at that nope. point, bro. That was our first <laughs> hit in the truck. The first hit in the truck. We're pulling away from this Lambo. And and man, that's that's wild. The, that fir the first race, I actually just matted it and let it auto downshift. And the second one, I put it in manual. And when we put it in manual, it made like a two or three car difference. We pulled, yeah. we pulled uh, I think two or three cars or something on them. Like but cars, yeah. bro, the, the priceless moment. I wish I had a camera <laughs> on their faces because their passenger, he was filming us. So that, that clip, some, somebody Some, find somebody that clip. Because somebody has it. <laughs> That's probably floating around on Instagram or somewhere, TikTok <laughs> or somewhere right now. Dude, I want to see their angle because when, when we pulled up after that race, oh my God, the passenger's face was just like, like in, in awe. awe, dude. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised. I thought they would have pulled us. Like I didn't know how fast this thing would be or not, you know. So it was a, it was a fun little race. I think that sets the tone for what this project is gonna be like on the channel <laughs> for sure. Hundred yeah. percent, dude. It's pretty wild to think that. I mean, this is a bone stock Coyote, other than like the old pump gears, but like full long block basically is is stock, you know. And this thing, I mean, this thing's making I think 830 wheel horsepower, so. I mean, they, these coyotes are just so damn impressive. And and the first time I ever revved this thing out, I was just like, I've never had a domestic car that could rev like this, you know? Yeah. But yeah, dude, they're just, they're so impressive. And like, man, like like what Brett's doing with the green Mustang snot rocket, I, th I think he's been 630s or something like that in the quarter, 630? Like 636 or something like that. Yeah, man, quarter like that's mile. just, it's mind blowing. You know, I think he's just set, he just set a, a new personal best eighth mile. We'll plug a couple of those clips here. Might be having some fun with Brett on this project. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for that, man. Brett's our boy. We've known him a long time. He helped us almost every step of the way with the RSX build. I'm so freaking stoked for this, man. I cannot wait to. Uh, and and here's the thing, though. What's absolutely crazy is this thing is perfect as is. I mean, making over 800 wheel horsepower. In my head, I was like, man, we definitely need more. We definitely need like a thousand. And now that we've been messing around with this, I'm like, this thing's it's perfect. perfect. <laughs> this thing's perfect, but it makes all the torque too. And right? Yeah. All the torque. But in usual tier C fashion, we just have to be habitual line steppers. And this thing's gonna get absolutely more insane. So this is our this is our baseline, 830 wheel horsepower. So in an upcoming episode, we're actually gonna take the truck to tier C Street Kings. I don't know that we have a solid class that we can run it in, so we're probably just gonna run it in like the 1050 class or something. We imagine it's gonna be somewhere in the 10 second range. Um, we haven't done any testing, any draggy testing or quarter mile testing. Uh, but I imagine this thing will probably, uh, based off what other people have done, maybe like a bottom 10 or a high nine, I would think. Again, we're, we're gonna test it. So we're gonna run it at TRC Street Kings. We're also gonna do some dra draggy testing, some hits on the street in Mexico. We're also gonna take this thing to the track and um, probably let the team make a bunch of passes. What I like about this truck the most is I don't have a lot of experience behind the wheel, but the fact that I could, I could just hop in the driver's seat, floor it, and not feel sketched out at all, I think is a pretty big thing about this truck. Like, it's yeah, pretty dude. cool like that I could do that. So yeah, it's gonna be a cool project for the channel for sure. This, this thing is gonna catch some people off guard, that's for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> we just gotta throw the stock, we have the stock wheels sitting in a storage. <laughs> so we just gotta, we can throw the stock wheels on and go trolling on the street and oh, <laughs> get some <laughs> races. <laughs> All right guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. We had a blast making it. We'll see you guys next time. Later. You can kind of just hit, you know, put it in manual mode. So you put it in first and then add them back. <laughs> dude, this thing's rowdy. Oh, yeah. This thing is rowdy, dude. Whew. It gets your blood pumping every time. All the time. It never <laughs> fails. It never fails to do that. Dude, this thing's sick.